I know Rebel loves me, and it's not fair to him. Just like it's not fair for millions of people to lose their soul salvations because their cathedral has betrayed their faith. It's not fair for people to conclude that God has no law simply because the man-made laws of the cathedral are ridiculous. It's not fair that God should be shunned by those he loves in favour of popular entertainers and media propaganda. None of it is fair, Mr. Len. But you were right when you talked about the soldier calling down friendly fire on his own position to destroy the enemy around him. It's not my intent to be killed, and it's not my intent to kill anyone else, but... This is a war. If there come casualties as I lay my life down for my lord in heaven, then so be it. It's not that I don't care for Rebel Menace, I'm very fond of him. He's like a big, cuddly forest creature, the kind you read about in children's books. Warm and courageous and dedicated and even heroic. And you can't help but admire how devoted he is to his cause and to the people who follow him. If I weren't who I am, knowing what I know, I might even love him for the kind of man he is. But the truth of the matter is, I can't. I just can't. He's a fine man, but he's a lost soul. I don't know whether it was his time in the military or some other personal tragedy he suffered, but he's declared himself an enemy of God. And while I know that I'm supposed to love my enemies, I must also acknowledge that he is my enemy. And never mistake him for anything else. No. No, no, no. No, not like this, my lord. Your child will not leave this world a broken disgrace in her service to you. Not broken by the devil's mocking minions who sit on the edge of their seats waiting for the yawning gates of hell to burst forth and beckon a billion untethered souls to their doom. Let them rend this body. Let them crush it. Let them burn it. Let them scatter the ashes of everything I ever was into the lost memory of the swirling wings. But do not let them bear witness to the death of your soldier as a lost, faithless perversion of all your loving promises to us. Let them see you in me as I walk to my death. Let the burning gates of hell freeze, shut upon this crystal shining moment where your glory and grace and righteousness stand strong and fast and true for all the world to regain its path to eternal salvation. Let the joyful shouts of you in this world drown the anguished howls of the devil as he is driven from our hearts, dragged from the shadows of lies and deceit and consumed by the blinding glare of heaven's light. Reign supreme, my heavenly father. Reign supreme today and forever.